Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about perfumes that match that very trendy clean girl aesthetic. We've all heard about it, very trendy right now on the internet. The clean girl aesthetic is just, to me, when I picture it, just a very natural, very beautiful, gorgeous girl. Very minimal, very effortless. Her natural beauty just glows through and you know that she smells incredible. Very effortless, very clean and fresh. And these are the perfumes that I would recommend for the clean girl aesthetic. So we're gonna be starting with Valaya by Parfum de Marly. Now this is a very like bougie, high-end clean girl aesthetic perfume, but it is just so beautiful. I had to put it in the list. And this is also one of my top releases for women for the year of 2023. Just fantastic release. Came out earlier in the year. And this is a very citrusy, musky, aldehydic scent with peach and mandarin orange. There is this very like lush, juicy, beautiful element in the opening of Valaya. There's a very, very, very clean musk in this. Very crisp, very bright. And there are some florals in this as well, but they're very, very soft. It's not like a overly floral type of scent. It's almost like you wouldn't even smell it if you weren't looking for it because the main accords of this is just a very airy, very ethereal citrus and those musks. And you also get a lot of peach in this too, which is just gorgeous. There's something a little bit vanillic in the way of like a vanilla in the background of this, but it's more of just a supporting note than anything. Just adds a little bit more of this kind of natural, subtle sweetness. This is the ultimate clean girl scent, I'm telling you guys. This is also a scent that is perfect for people out there that don't enjoy musk. This is just done in a way that is so universal, so enjoyable. It's really hard not to love Valaya. And it's just so perfect because it's so versatile. You can wear this anywhere daytime, nighttime, date night, the gym, like it will kind of morph into any situation that you put it in. And I just, I love everything about it, guys. The scent, I adore the bottle. All of the feminine Parfum de Marley bottles are just gorgeous. And this thing is very strong as well. That's another reason why I think it's worth the money is because it lasts a very long time. It has a very strong scent bubble. Like you wouldn't think that a musky kind of aldehydic scent would be like beastly, but this thing is. It is really crazy how this thing sticks around in the air. Something a little bit kind of like clean linen going on too. This is like a soft, quiet luxury perfume. Kind of like clean girl meets quiet luxury. I adore it, it's beautiful, Valaya. So next, I want to talk about the new release from Julia Has a Gun. This one is Ode to Dullness. This one really took me by surprise as well. I just started off by ordering, blind ordering a 10 ml, but definitely when I am done with this, I will be getting a full bottle because this is just the type of scent that I rock with. I adore this like cashmere, sheer, ambery scent. The name is a little different, but I guess the whole theme of the campaign and the perfume is like finding beauty and enjoyment in those quiet moments of life. The scent is very warm, very cozy, cozy, very sheer, with a lot of cashmere. It opens with a blast of spice from Star Anise, a very unique way to add spiciness, especially in a woman's targeted perfume. I mean, it's, these scents are unisex. Julia has a gun is a unisex house, niche house, but it's just, you don't really see that in a lot of feminine releases. So it's interesting to add star anise to this, combined with a very creamy sandalwood and cashmere wood. It's a very simple scent, very airy and transparent, effortless once again, and so unique. Like when you go into Sephora, it's so, so unique compared to anything else that you're going to smell in there. It's something that gives it like a touch of sweetness overall just a very unique very 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 creamy cashmere scent you get the anise and the sandalwood as well cashmere to me is just the ultimate luxury one of the best one of my favorite notes in perfumes period it just there's just something about cashmere wood and cashmere that when you add it to a perfume it just takes it to the next level makes it smell very expensive very luxurious and oh to dullness was a very Good, surprising release from Julia Has a Gun. So I just came back from a trip from Dubai and there was a fragrance that I discovered. Now I'm not new to this house, Scentology, but I didn't get to try this perfume. This is one of the few fragrances that I did not get to try from Scentologia. It's called Soli Flore, and you guys have probably heard of Synergy. Of course, that is the fragrance that has been getting all the attention 
but let me tell you when I smelled this for the first time this one instantly became my new favorite from the house even over Synergy. It is a very feminine scent with a very strong airy quality and this house has the best atomizers look at this it's crazy absolutely crazy how good the atomizers are this is a very juicy raspberry and rose notes a touch of spice from pepper you get mostly rose in this but there are some other florals as well like jasmine and gardenia there's also a base of tolu balsam gives it a little bit of like this resinous feel in the base a little bit of amber musk vanilla and benzoin a very rich modern floral honestly you guys this smells like erosia perfume like the quality of this and the blending the way that it's done especially the utilization of that rose it smells like erosia dove fragrance something a little peachy in this as well which is why i also think erosia <laughs> something like maybe osmanthus very sweet a very sweet fruitiness but it's not cloying it's not loud the musk in this really gives it that beautiful kind of clean girl feel and that airy element as well and the resonance just kind of gives it a little bit of sweetness something a little different it was one of the very few from Scentologia that I hadn't tried and <laughs> I am obsessed with this seriously this bottle this fragrance is gorgeous you guys and if you'd like 10% off I have a discount code with them as well really priced well beautiful quality if you really love peachy rose scents this is one that you need to try Soli Flory by Scentologia. Gorgeous! So on the note of floral scents, this is a perfume that I don't even think is released yet. I'm sorry. I know that's so annoying when you when you talk about fragrances that aren't released yet, but I tried this in Duty Free coming back from either Italy or Dubai and I instantly bought a bottle. This is the new Giorgio Armani C Eau de Parfum Intense. I'm in love with the bottle of this, guys. It is the most gorgeous C bottle yet. C is very soft and lovely anyways, but the new Eau de Parfum Intense takes it to a new level. Regardless of the cool bottle design, the scent itself is just, it is everything. Like when I smell this, I thought, wow, this might be my new favorite designer fragrance. Very rich, vanillic rose scent with Divana, and it gives it this kind of green touch. This has patchouli in it, but it's kind of toned down, done in a different way. You have more of an emphasis on the Divana in this, which is what makes it kind of different because generally that typical rose patchouli DNA, right, gives it this green angle, but it's different when it's done with the Divana versus the blast of patchouli. So if you aren't a big patchouli lover, you might like this. Just something unique about it. And there's a very jammy black currant too that adds this kind of like juicy element. It's not a very like creamy vanilla either. It's kind of powdery and gives it this kind of like whimsical feel. And it has some black tea as well that kind of adds this freshness to it. This one is definitely the most floral, like the heaviest vanilla so far on the list, but I still think that it fits into that clean girl vibe because it's just so very put together. And I adore this, you guys. It feels like me in a bottle and I cannot wait for this to hit the stage so that you guys can try it out. It is gorgeous. Giorgio Armani C Eau de Parfum Intense. So next we have the Icon from Jo Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is for the ladies that want something that isn't a typical floral citrusy scent floral freshy if you know what i mean this smells like you are standing on the coastline sea foam in the air waves crashing up against your toes really creates a very like realistic imagery super marine and aromatic very watery kind of green and salty kind of like Almost, I don't want to say like seaweed, but kind of like seaweed or some sort of green marine element. Beautifully appealing. Has this kind of like mineral feel. And if you are someone that is very like sensitive to scents, to perfumes, to fragrance, this is the type of scent that you will want to try. Jo Malone is a great house for that because they're all very airy, very light. And on that note, I guess we can talk about the performance. It's not the best, you guys. It'll last you a few hours minimum, maybe like two hours maximum it's really not that great you can bump up the performance of this with like an isoe super or i like to layer with this one as well it kind of adds like a tropical feel to other scents but this is just a great scent for someone that doesn't want a very powerful loud perfume there are people out there that prefer very soft scents and because it's an eau de toilette it's very light 
very airy, very fresh. This is a good option if you don't want something so typical. But if you want something with a little bit of weight to it, but you still want something that's not so typical, I would recommend Versace's Dylan Blue Turquoise. Pleasantly fresh and citrusy with some tropical fruits. Very interesting how it's done in here. And I prefer this over Dylan Blue as well. I actually bought a bottle of it, of Dylan Blue, and ended up returning it because it's just not... It was a little too like shampoo-y for me, but this one, turquoise, is a million times better in my opinion. I really enjoy this one. This is just one of those occasions where the flanker is better than the OG. We have lemon, orange, a very realistic like guava, honeydew kind of vibe, like melony vibe. It's so refreshing with this very like edgy kind of spicy pepper. You do get a big blast of pepper in this. That pepper just melts into the citrus too. There are definitely some woody undertones to this. This is for a very cool girl. It's a really interesting divide between the green, that spicy pepper, and those very like zesty, citrusy melon notes. Mixed all together with some wood and musks. Very underrated fresh -y. It leans unisex in my opinion. I think a man or a woman could wear this. It is an amazing value. Versace, like most Versace fragrances, they're all priced very well. And if you would like a very bright, clean fresh scent that you can wear on all occasions this is a great cheap one Versace Dylan Blue turquoise so we have another good cheapie to talk about this is her by Zadig and Voltaire a very sweet airy vanilla and that airy quality comes from a very realistic whipped cream note versus how it's typically done with like a musk I don't know whenever I hear about a whipped cream note in a perfume I just picture like the bottle spraying the bottle and all the air like gushing out. It's like a weird imagery that I have sometimes. You get this very like chestnutty element with some sandalwood, but at the forefront of this scent is a very sweet vanilla. Almost kind of like an extra girl, like Barbie type of scent. Something just feels very extra about it. Just like that girl, you know what I mean? Just like, but that sandalwood and that airy element is what makes me think clean girl. A little woody, Slightly spicy, kind of airy musk, but doesn't smell like musk. It smells like whipped cream. Great deal for around like $40, $45. So Zadig and Voltaire, this is her. So next I want to talk about a perfume that I discovered in a niche fragrance store in Miami that finally, finally was released the other day. This is called Iris Sorbet by Precious Liquid. And this brand was created by the master perfumer Richard Herpin. So just already know that these scents are going to be next level. It's a perfume house owned by a master perfumer. And this scent just blew me away when I tried it for the first time. I have been waiting for months for this thing to be released. And now that it's here and now that I have her in my collection, I am just so, so happy about it because this fragrance is based around probably my favorite note in perfumery, iris. And I love it because it's a very unique way to do an iris scent. Typically, I feel like most iris perfumes are very a little bit heavier they're kind of done in a more like winter themed type of way but this is a very airy beautiful scent this is like a very elegant and you're not even trying type of perfume this one also has a very vibrant raspberry note but this one has more of like a zingy side to the scent so you have this very like zesty side kind of almost like tart citrusy raspberry mixed with a kind of creamy carrot seed note but don't let that scare you it's not necessarily very dominant in this i think it just kind of adds like a very natural sweetness in a different way it definitely does not smell like carrots and i am usually someone that hates the note of carrot seeds but he does it in a lot of his fragrances and i love it i love it in all of the precious liquid fragrances so they just know how to do that note very well. Has some very high quality musks with this rose. So delicious and very, very luxurious. And it has this very creamy sound of wood that really just ties it all together. This is a must, a must own. And I do not say that often. This is a must own if you love Iris. And I haven't even talked about that kind of sorbet airy quality because of the name Iris Sorbet. It definitely has this kind of like gelato feeling. Icy, not icy, but very airy sorbet feeling. It's really hard to put into words, but like you just close your eyes and picture. You're at an ice cream shop and you're getting sorbet. There's some aspect of this 
that's in here. Think of like Young Pistachio by Hayali. I don't know how the heck they make it so photorealistic, but it's the same way in here. Truly a gorgeous perfume, really an amazing wearing experience with Iris Sorbet. It is so unique, a totally new way to do an Iris perfume. Very modern, nothing stuffy <laughs> or like old school feeling about it whatsoever. And they have an amazing deal running right now with my code Erica40. You can get $40 off a full size bottle. It is a great deal, guys. It smells very, very rich this is just a very special fragrance and so i want to finish off this list with the wife fragrance herself mon guerlain eau de toilette by guerlain this one is nicknamed the wife scent because it is very ladylike very pretty very natural it is such a lovely classic and it's sad that i sometimes forget like this is in the back of my shelf i forget how beautiful this is and this has iris in it as well but with jasmine and rose with a very nice fresh lavender note which is what it is known for, the whole Latin Mon Guerlain. It seems as though lavender is becoming a little more common in designer fragrances like Lieb, like the new Burberry Goddess, but this is done differently. This has some vanilla in it as well. I feel like Lieb and Goddess, they kind of feel like more young, more youthful. This doesn't feel mature to me, but it definitely feels more grown up, more intentional, more elegant than those two. This has Tunisian vanilla in the base with licorice. You get a lot of licorice in this, really beautiful. It has a little bit of patchouli and sandalwood as well. Guerlain is also top tier quality. It's what the house has been known for forever. And the Eau de Toilette Mon Guerlain is a true classic and still so beautiful today. Perfect, fresh, lavender, floral, vanilla for girls that like very classic scents. You wanna smell like old money, get Mon Guerlain. You make men want to propose to you, <laughs> Mon Guerlain. This one is also very, very affordable as well. Something you can wear everywhere, anytime, and smell very appropriate. And I get compliments when I wear this, and I got complimented the last time I wore this to a pool party, which is not where you would think that one would wear Mon Guerlain, but I'm telling you, this is a fragrance that will work in any scenario, and people will think you smell great. It is gorgeous, Mon Guerlain. Eau de toilette. So ladies, that is my list video of perfumes that I think match the clean girl aesthetic. Leave a comment below what you guys think. Have you tried any of these? What is your idea of a clean girl scent? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.